I don't know what I'm doing. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. We've obviously started talking about dating again. And so for today's video, I wanted to do a get ready with me for how I get ready for dates. Obviously hair, obviously makeup, my go-to outfits, and just like the mental preparation and some unsolicited advice. You clicked on the video, not me. I give myself a good amount of time to get ready, but I don't necessarily always like washing my hair right before. So I'll do it like in the morning or the night before, but I definitely like to start with like fresh hair. I don't know why, I just, I feel like it's about feeling your freshest. So I showered last night, like right before bed, but like, as you can tell, it's like very, very clean. It's literally, have you seen anything so silky smooth in your life? Well, you already know why, because if you watch the videos, you guys know I'm obsessed with the way products. I rave about their leave-in conditioner and their shampoo and conditioner. It just, my hair blow dries and just feels so literally amazing. It's the only thing I put in my hair to make it like this. It's insane. So this is the leave-in conditioner. So it's gonna hydrate your hair. It's gonna detangle your hair. It's gonna fight frizz. This one, I have this one and I have two of the travel sizes. I'm obsessed. And it also acts as like a heat protectant. I have a lot of thick hair and it can be very, very frizzy. As you guys know, I complain even just about brushing it. This literally does everything I need. Not only does it make me just be able to brush my hair when I get out of the shower, but it literally allows me to blow dry my hair and have it just silky smooth. It's perfect hair. I wish I could tell my younger self. One day, one day you're gonna do it. That was my only goal in middle school is to like have smooth hair. So dream big. If my hair is just being unmanageable or annoying, like I always like to put it up or do something with it, but I feel like, you know, you wanna put your best foot forward, so put your hair forward as well, you know what I mean? It also smells amazing. That's why I like being fresh out of the shower too, because like, I just sprayed it in my hair, I just dried my hair, it still smells amazing, I smell amazing, wife me up. Obviously, you guys know I dye my hair blonde and it's color safe, cruelty free. It does it does all the things. It was founded by Jen Atkins, celebrity hairstylist. If you don't know Jen, you don't know hair. So discover a new way of life with the Way's leave-in conditioner. Go to T-H-E-O-U-A-I dot com and you can use promo code Lauren Elizabeth for 15% off your entire purchase. So if I were you, I would take the quiz so that you know like which hair type you have. Throw on the leave-in conditioner. Throw it all in. That's 15% off your entire order at T H E O U A I dot com. Promo code Lauren Elizabeth for 15% off your entire order. I just use this attachment on the Dyson, which is also Jen Atkin approved. I just do one of these. Focus, focus, focus. So if you're someone that drinks, I recommend just having a glass of wine while you get ready. Whoa. Because then like you're not drinking like right before you go, you're not like ripping shots. Also, you're probably gonna drink on your date. I mean, like I prefer to do drink dates. I don't like dinner dates. I just feel like it's a little too formal. You don't really have an out if you need an out. So I prefer to like grab drinks or if you're more of a coffee gal, grab coffee. I like to just have a glass of wine while I get ready so that by the time I'm done, I'm done with my wine, I can get dressed, like chill a little bit and then go. I'm just gonna run through my hair one more time. This is almost acting like I'm like straightening my hair. I'm just like re-smoothing it out. I turned my ring light on, but I couldn't do it when the Dyson was plugged in, so sorry. You guys, all opinions and all advice is my own. You can literally do whatever you want for a date. Don't let me stop you. This is just my opinions, my two cents. I am not the knower of all things. I am quite frankly the knower of nothing. Pretty, pretty good at dating at this point because this is not my first rodeo. I like to like obviously look my best, but also look as natural as possible, which basically means like I'm still gonna wear a lot of makeup because but I'm gonna make it look like I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, you know? You guys have seen me do my makeup a million times, so let's just jump right into it. You have to prime your face because it could be a long night. You don't know. You don't know where the night's gonna take you. It could also take you right back to your apartment. But that's why, give yourself a little bit of time before you leave. Take some cute pics of yourself so that like at least, you know, maybe you got some Instagram content. For first dates, we use Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. A few dates down the road, we use like Ilia, Merit, way less makeup, but like this is like, you know, you're in lower lighting. You can get away with a little more makeup while still looking natural. Rubbing makeup all over my face is how I feel my best. Especially if I'm breaking out, honestly. Instead of doing a lot, I start with just my two palms instead of like if I was going to a wedding, I would be like, whatever, I don't care. And once again, I forgot how hard it is to do my makeup when I'm filming because I'm so far away. When you have anxiety like I do, you pick at your skin. And I did that. So I try not to do that when I know I have a date. If I could control
show my anxiety. My life would just be a lot different in general. So looks like we're going in with another pump, but instead of going in with another one after this, we're gonna do that and we're gonna bring it here. We're gonna make that pump last. Blending down to the neck is crucial. You don't wanna have your face a different color. Then he'll be like, wow, what's wrong with her neck? And you'll have to make up a lie about how you have a rare disease and never see him again. Honestly, I do feel like this foundation looks like pretty natural. Like it doesn't look like, oh my God, she's like has a different face on her face, you know? Even though that's kind of the goal, but you, you get the point. I will do like a lot less concealer. I don't need to like go crazy, but I will cover these suckers up. It's cool, I don't even need the mirror for this part because they look so bad I can see them from far away. That's helpful. Like I'm not even gonna put concealer on my forehead, I'm so crazy. <laughs> I don't really get nervous anymore before first date unless I'm just like nervous that they're gonna catfish me, which has happened before. Not in real life though, like we never met, but I was getting like digitally catfished, so that was fun. My last date, he asked to get dinner and I said, I have dinner actually, but I'd love to get a drink before. I didn't have dinner. Of course, that date ended up going really well. I didn't like tell him I was lying. I was just like, I don't really have to go. The next date I told him I was lying, but it doesn't matter. It's a safety precaution. It's not a real lie. And I always like tell my friends where I am so that like if I need them they're on standby sometimes I'll have friends walk me today drop me off pick me up it's like who cares oh sorry my friends picking me up for this date we have somewhere to go this is her I've done that before taking a shot together all three of us good times so I'm not loving what's happening but that's okay going in with the rare beauty going in only a little heavy more heavy-handed just because I just got a tan and like my foundation and concealer really look weird I saw an Instagram video of someone contouring their eyes a certain way. Let's find it. You're supposed to like this. Here, here, here. I mean, I already kind of do that. Here, here. Okay, so like that definitely like doesn't look as good as hers. I have done two dates in a week before, but I will say it's a little more difficult just in a sense of like bandwidth purposes. And also it's like, what if you have like a really good time with one and then you have to like juggle them all for the next like days to come. It's tough, not easy out there. One of the main things I tell myself to make myself less nervous is don't talk that much. And I say that because I'm a talker. Like when I get nervous, I talk a lot and so I just remind myself that it, life is about listening and also it's like I need to see if I like him it's not about if he likes me who cares if he likes me let's figure out if I like him so I like to make sure that I ask a lot of questions and of course it's a red flag if they're not like asking them back you know like those typical things of like oh like expand on that I don't say that i'm not like on gchat how did you guys meet or which friend is that again i'm always learning i'm thirsting for information about my date a lot of times people are like prepared to talk about themselves on dates and when you go on a lot of dates it's really annoying to talk about yourself why think about that when you can be like let me figure out if i actually like this person i want to listen i want to be a good listener and listening is hot and sexy everyone always says oh my god i love when people listen but no one ever listens i forgot to put this on well this is not gonna be my soulmate tonight oh my god this is such a bad idea this is such a bad idea this is such a bad idea not the best not the worst not the best not the worst if you really think you're gonna be out late give yourself an in-between setting moment set all your cream products Ooh, lauren you stay out late no I have the best advice for a woman in dating. Get your, this is where we're not going on a red carpet. We're going on a date. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna go light handed. Whoa, whoa, she's so natural. They go low, we go high. When I'm really like going out out, I do this darker brown. And then like during the day, I do this one. Since it's a date and I like wanna be able to like look even better eventually at some point, I don't wanna like put all my cards on the table. I'm just gonna keep it pretty close to the, pretty close to the lid. Usually I'll take it up to like there and i'm just gonna keep it down here in no crazy like cat eye situation because a lazy hasn't earned it yet and b almost like he hasn't earned it yet i'm not gonna make up i'm not gonna spend my time doing it for you a little mixy poo like a little girly pop of this one and that one follow your dreams i'm gonna follow the line i'm sweating sweating I'm sweating I just feel like matte looks like really natural on your eyes because like your eyes aren't naturally glittery. The main reason like you want to drink a glass of wine if you're a drinker for the date is like if it triggers a bowel movement, it's before the date, not your first drink at the date. Kind of the main reason. One glass of wine is not going to get away your nerves. Also hate to break it to you, but 
will get rid of your IBS if you have it. Taking the matte bronzer, connecting the look. Wow, so we really took that color past the crease because we could not see what we were doing. My handy dandy eye drops because we want to look bright eyed and bushy tailed, but we're so excited to be there. It's an honor and a privilege. I can't do this. Laura Mercier setting powder, clean it up, and also obviously set underneath my eyes. I like this highlighter, like I told you guys in the last video. It really just like looks so glowy and like natural, but like strikingly natural. Defo, I don't know why I wanted to say that so bad. You defo wanna curl the lashes? I think in my head, what I like to do is like pretend I don't care because no matter what, I'm gonna come off like I care because I care too much. So if in my head, I'm like, I don't care. It at least like helps. I don't know where I'm going with that. Good amount of mascara, setting spray, good amount of setting spray. Ugh. Really let that dry before you make any sudden movements. You never know what could go wrong in a damp environment. We're about to use the Dyson Airwrap and we want to make sure that if we sweat, we're okay. I recommend doing your hair however you're comfortable. To me, it means if we date, you're probably gonna see my hair in a bun 1,700,000 times. So let's let this memory stick inside your brain for a little, shall we? We shall. Dyson Airwrap. All that's in here is the way leave-in conditioner. My hair's too coarse for anything else. It's not plugged in. Gotta turn the ring light off. I wanted it like less blowouty, so I'm just gonna let them fall. I'm sweating, so I'm gonna open the door and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished my hair, just air wrapped it, just so it kind of looks more like natural. Wearing my hair down on first date gives me that like feminine confidence no matter what. So I actually really like how this looks though. I like how it looks just kind of like a little bit curly, a little bit not. Have fun with it. Yes, live your best life. Now, so this is one of my go-to tops. These are my go-to jeans. They're the A Goldie jeans that I always wear. The reason why I love them is because they're like this closest thing to skinny jeans that I have. This is one of my go-to tops. It's Aritzia. It's literally just a black tank, but I like to do obviously, I don't know why I just lift these up. Tuck it in like a little bit for just like a little bit more form, I guess. I feel like with the weather right now, it's like when I start wearing tank tops because like once you're inside, you're fine. So just wearing like a cute black jacket on top and then you could just wear a pair of booties. So this is like one of my go-to tops. It's literally just so simple. It's black, it's silk. I literally only ever wear black or white tops out on dates. I don't really try anything super fashion-y, but also I'm not super fashion-y, I guess, in that way. My most flattering jeans, which are these ones, form-fitting, but they're still stylish at the ankles because I don't really wanna wear baggy jeans on a first date. In the summer, I'll gravitate more towards white tops, and then in the fall and winter, I'll do more towards black tops. Black is always super, super flattering, so I try to do black as much as I can unless I have have like a really really cute like white similar top to this and I just feel like really tan and glowy then I'm like okay I'll do white it's basically just about clothes that I feel the most comfortable in I know that like no matter where we're going I'm gonna feel good about myself like I'm not overdressed I'm not underdressed the top isn't like cotton it's silky but I'm also wearing jeans business on top party on the bottom type of situation so I feel like it's just like wherever I'm going I know that my outfit is like cute enough for my comfort level. Does that make sense? I'll show you some other tops that I've worn. So I literally have this exact top in white. I wasn't kidding. Literally my go-to. It just depends on what I'm feeling. Another one of these black tops from Aritzia. This kind of top from Reformation, it's more of like a linen material with like a more form-fitting kind of situation. I love, love, love this top for like a look like this. Crazy thing I'll ever do. I have this one from Super Down, which is kind of like this. This one from YNS that just fell off the hanger. That one I actually wore on a date and I felt like it was date appropriate. I just felt really cute in it. I happened to be filming beforehand. It was like a little bit colder outside. I had a good time and I felt really cute. The most crazy top I've ever worn on a date. Everything else is pretty much either a black tank top, a white tank top. I guess I've never really dated like in the thick of winter. So that's why I don't really have any like super cute like long sleeves top to show you. It's not that cold out anymore. Like grow up. 
I won't wear a hair tie on my wrist to remind myself to like keep my hair down. I don't know why, I just feel like it's more like feminine and playful. I feel like it's just like my self-consciousness and insecurity that like likes my hair up. It's just silly, it's just a personal thing. I'm really weird. If I walk to a date, I'm really weird. I walk with my AirPods in. I went on this date and like what I'll do is like obviously I take one out to like talk to the hostess and I was like, oh, I'm meeting so-and-so. And he walked me to the back of the restaurant and I like put down my stuff and I still had the other one in and the thing in my hand. And I was like, oh my God, so sorry. I don't know, I just feel like it like made me look like busy and like I have a life. So I just like waited a second. Like I, it's like a security blanket. I don't know. I just, I don't walk without AirPods. And so like, I'm not taking them off until I am sitting down. So I'll pack my AirPods. For a bag, I just, I do something versatile. So something with like handles like this that can go like this or like that. So that if I need to cross body it, I can. Like if we go out after, if we're vibing, when I'm just like walking in, if I just like want to look really cute and professional, professional, I don't know why I'm trying to look professional on a date. Or you can do one of these, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If it's like a second date or a date I don't really care about, maybe I don't think the date's gonna go well. I'll full fanny pack it up. Cause like, I don't know. Obviously I put my hair tie in my bag. I'm not a serial killer. I just like don't need it on my wrist. See, I literally have a black one already in my bag. It's like, she knows. Then I just bring chapstick because I don't like to excuse myself too often or for too long. I don't have time for lip liner and stuff. Wallet, hopefully don't have to take it out. Hey! And then yeah, I'll like sit on my phone, get hyped up for my friends. I'll remind myself literally nothing matters. Dating is fun. If you don't date, you don't get to see the example of like how someone treats you, whether it's good or bad. For instance, I'll give you an example. Like my one friend, she went on a date with this guy. He paid the check or something and like the way he did it was really cute. They got up and he like came right around, like pulled out her chair and kind of touched her back or something. And she was like, oh my God, my ex like never used to like pay attention to me like that. Like it was so like, manly and like sexy and like I really like that just you get to kind of just like see different people and like different vibes and you get to see what you like and maybe it'll teach you new things that you're like I actually really liked x y and z about this person I didn't even know that was something I was looking for so it's like all a social experiment it's not that deep you might as well like meet some other people and like give it your best go and like another thing you have to remember is like do it for the plot do it for the story like that's what I'm always doing like snapchat the whole way there and then I give snapchat snapchat updates from the bathroom when you're the single friend of the friend group you have a responsibility you have a responsibility to the rest of the group and you got to get out there and you got to do it for the plot and you have to have fun also like who doesn't love like buying a cute top and like putting on your makeup and feeling cute film with tiktok before and know at the end of the day your comfy clothes are on your bed ready for you you have a show queued up in case your night ends early those are my dating tips that's how i get ready for a date thank you guys for keeping me company while i got ready and yes you can text your date before to confirm plans it's not weird because you want to make sure you're not being catfish and you want to be safe it's not that deep thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know what else you want to know what else you want to see i hope that gave you some good insight into something i'm not sure what and i will see you guys in the next video bye